What's going on guys? I'm here at work again and I've been talking about some dragons that um, a local lady has been um, producing around here and I'm going to show you the two that we have left. We have four last week when she dropped them off um, but we have two left. So two sold already but these ones still have the same same structure but not as not as vibrant as the colors so we're going to go over what I'm looking for when I talk about structure. Uh, first, we'll start with the head. I want the, the head to be big, but not like a very pointy nose, especially if it's not a hybrid. Uh, some point on the nose is um, okay if it's a hybrid because the Barbada has that by nature. But I like a nice size head. It's not too snubby on the nose. So mid mid nose length. I don't want the tip of the snout to be too close to the eyes or too far away from the eyes. So right in the mid point. I like to look at the body. I don't want the body to be um, extra long. Sometimes you have dragons with a long torso and a shorter tail or long tail with a shorter tor torso. I like the torso and the tail to be about the same length, at least the major part of it. Um, you see on this one, the, the thicker part of the tail um, to the tip uh, right here, it's about the same length as the from the neck to the base of the tail. And then it has thicker, thicker hind legs and front legs. They're not like little twigs sticking out. Um, they got good appetites. Uh, good bites. They don't have an underbite or overbite. These are wolf hypos. There's one right here too. <laughs> the body is well proportioned is what I'm looking for. Now it looks like it's going to come back. It's running from me at first. As I close the door, I want to come back over here. But it has a little, this one has, a, it, was one, it was one female that was in a group I was supposed to get, but it sold by the time I came back. Uh, so didn't get her but I, I still supposed to um, link up with the lady and, and get some from her so hopefully I can do that soon and show you guys that and see if I can talk to her on camera with you guys but look at that nice nice ham ham what would, what would it be called on the human a uh, uh, hamstring no hamstring is in the back a thigh uh, nice thigh muscle Good build overall. It's just a well proportioned dragon. I like these a lot. So. Just wanted to show you guys that, or at least one of them. I wish I would have had the um, the brighter of, of the bunch. It was a female. She was nice, almost like a reddish orange, similar to this color of this male but without the dunner. But yeah, this one, this one's a little smaller than the other one. This one's neck is a little bit too short, so I wouldn't get that one. That one has like a more pronounced neck. They don't look like it's, you just see the difference what I'm talking about. You can actually see the neck on this one right here. I like that. This one doesn't have that much neck, so I like this one better. When they had a short neck like that, it's more like they look like a um, like a dwarf. But this one has a nice head structure. Um, even the cheeks right there, I like how the spikes stick out on the cheeks. And then it has the actual neck that separates the body from the head. And the good size torso, not too long, not too slender, and then goes into a thick tail and thick thick legs as well. So yeah, those guys are doing good. These little ones down here, they are growing. They get nice bellies on them. This is the group I showed you guys eating last week. You pick up a couple of them. A couple of them have shed. So the color is starting to pop a little bit more. You guys are going crazy on greens. It's a little nice little 
translucent leather back. Uh, it won't let me get it. But we have this one. This one has a little toe nip. They haven't nipped each other since um, since we had them. That was prior. Remember, I showed you guys this one. Better light for you guys. Nice little warning. The translucent usually have like a green tint to them. This one does. And then that tint goes away. This one mostly gonna be mostly gonna be a uh, most likely gonna be a, a orange dragon. When to finish it off, it might have a little bit of bars showing through, but for, for the most part it's gonna be an orange bearded dragon. See if I can grab another one. I think this is the one that I said I would choose out of the group. It don't have that much color, but it has that structure that I was talking about. And the tip of the nose is not too close to the eyes, so it don't have like a blunt nose. Uh, you can actually see the neck separation from the body. The legs are nice and chunky. It's not sinking in right here, in between the two legs on the tail. Got a nice size body. The tail is going to shed, so it's growing good. This is like the second shed since it's been here in the two weeks. And their bodies are filling in nice and this one don't have any nips or anything. It is a translucent. It's not high, high trans, but never, nevertheless, it is a translucent. So we got some little baby turtles too. Yeah, I just came in. I showed you guys a little bit of video before. But they're selling like crazy. I think we sold five of them already. But yeah, I uh, just wanted to show you guys these mainly. Uh, this one not so much, it has a shorter neck. I don't really mess with that one. You see it looks like got dwarfism, but that one, nice neck, nice body, nice legs, everything. Nice dragon right there. And the other ones are closer to that one as well. She said she has some with better color with the same structure. So hopefully I can get a couple of them and um, add them to the, the breeding uh, collection. So. Uh, kind of water down some of these uh, dragons that I have super packed with genetics and I'll cross them and then breed it back to try to get some more size into those guys but I'm gonna end the video here hope you guys enjoyed it until the next one you guys have a good one I'm out peace